Hello and welcome everyone. In this example, I'll explain you how a request for payment transfer can be transformed into a customer credit transfer message being sent out from the financial institution. Now we know that MT101 is our request for payment transfer, right? Now MT101 can be used in a different way and the uses of it is quite complex and it can vary from bank and then customer. Now, even a corporate customer can initiate this MT101 request for the payment transfer. And on in MT101, you'll find some of this tax, which I can show it to you, 2028T30 20, execution date. 21 is the reference number for this MT101. And then 32B, you will have this currency and the amount and 50F is the ordering customer details. And 52A is your ordering institution. 57A is your bank with account with institution and then 59 is your beneficiary customer. So this is what a corporate customer or a bank can send out to another bank who holds an account with their bank, right? And once this message is sent out, then MT103 message is what the message receiver will be initiating because of this MT101, which is nothing but the request for the payment transfer. And this MT103, for example, in this case would look like this, wherein they will send out this MT103 via the SWIFT network. And it has this information of all those, which is available in your MT101. And not only that, it decides which payment method it needs to send out, whether it's the direct payment method, zero payment method, or the cover payment method. If you see in this example, I can see that it, uh, the customer which the, he in, in MT101 they have informed to make a payment to 59 which holds who holds an account with BNP right here on receiving this payment request at this bank BCITI bank right they identify that they do not have this accounting relationship with this BNP AFR right which is a final beneficiary customer's account holding institution. So in this circumstance, they would then go ahead and look for this uh, serial payment method or the cover payment method. I can see in this example that this is a cover payment method because we have the center correspondent and receiver correspondent and then third reimbursement institution being hold over here, right? So if you want to learn more on this uh, with the end-to-end -end scenario with the diagrammatic representation then what you can do is you can make a purchase of our swift payment course which includes all the information of the, starting from the scratch to the settlement how the payment is initiated and what is that the different messages which are involved in this particular message and the scenarios so this was one of the scenarios now the Michael offers with so many scenarios that you would be definitely in a position to understand and to create how the messages look would look like. And by looking into the message itself, you can imagine the picture, who is the initiator and how the message would flow and what are the relationship a bank holds with another bank, for example, the RME or the accounting relationship. All those information you would get to know from my Swift empty payment course, Swift payment course right, wherein you learn about the Swift Entity Messaging for the category one, two, and nine, which includes a very good number of examples and scenarios, a business scenarios as well, covered in my Swift payment course. That would cost you only international rupees, 5,000. Duration is 20 hours. The videos will be granted to you for the lifetime access. And or not only that, you would also be given a an opportunity to interact with me on Sunday 8.30 to 9.30, limited to four hours for a candidate. And you can sort out any questions to me related to payment and I would love to answer all your questions. So that is there. And uh, other than that, I have something for you, which is ISO 2022 course also. Now you know that, we know that the world around the high value payment system, they are migrating into ISO 2022, right? Now the industry doesn't have the skillful resources in this ISO 2022, who knows this empty messaging as well. So I have designed this course in such a way that you get started with the payments basics and you learn this Swift empty messaging from the basics to uh, advanced level, which includes the Swift empty one category, two category and nine category messaging as well, as per my syllabus, which I'll be sending it out, out to you once you send out an email for the inquiry so that to to my email id that is swift payment guru at gmail.com which is 
mentioned here at the bottom, just drop me an email. And the cost video for this is very minimum. That is 12,000 itself. That is a very less amount, especially when you are trying for switching a new organization with a handsome salary. For sure, this course would definitely help you. And not only that, the questions which are which generally interviewer ask are mostly covered in this because I have 50 sets of questions which is available and all those 50 questions which the interviewer asks is covered in this payment course in this my integration co integrated course which includes payment course and this migration to ISO 2022. And not only to uh, switch the organization and even if you want to move internally to internally in your organization where indeed you need this shift payment knowledge and this ISO 2022, it is very beneficial for you and very useful for sure. I can guarantee you that after going this course, you will find in a situation that you learn your basics of payments, not only basics, I would say, right, you would be in a position to handle any kind of project because your concepts in the payment voice would be enhanced you would be in a position to handle any kind of payments in terms of these retail payments and uh, all the best. And I would look for more inquiries from your side. I'll see you next time. See you then.